Alright everybody, we are back. Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn, Iron Man. Here we go. Part 2, Chapter 1. And I am lagging, apparently. I'm gonna let it play out for a little bit and see if it fixes itself. And by that I mean probably for this whole chapter, and I apologize. Um, luckily this chapter shouldn't be too long. Unfortunately the one that follows it is a little bit longer, so this is probably gonna be just a short episode, just to make sure that the other episode doesn't make the episode go on for like two hours. Nevertheless, let's see what we can do. Let's turn on some of these guys here to make sure we got Leanne semi-safe. Definitely need to kill this guy. So... I don't know if Marsha got transfers or not, and if she did, which one? Maybe speed, but... Oops, that's not where we want to be. Let's get in on this. Uh... Okay, new plan. New plan, Nelucci. We're going first. Because they can't hit Nelucci. This will save Marsha the possibility of getting hit. I guess we have. Valencia could heal Marsha, but. Fuck it. We're doing it this way. Let's see here. You have five move, I believe, or is it six? Five. Alright. One, two, three, four, five. This guy has eight move? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do you have one, two range? Uh, they don't attack, I guess. They won't attack. Yeah. So if she, she can make it here, we're fine. So, one, two, three, four. I guess she can only make it there, because I believe the Clouds Count is difficult terrain for flyers in this map. If I understand correctly. Judging by the fact that Nelucci's movement grid is fucked up, yeah, they're 100% difficult terrain. She can get to here. So we'll put Nelucci here. And we can fly Marsha in here. Take this guy out. Oh, we are lagging. I'm gonna have to... I apologize. This... Thankfully, the chapter's not too long, so I'll fix it for the next one. I don't know what's causing it. I probably just have to restart the computer, honestly. It's probably something that simple. I mean, uh, restart the Wii. It's probably that simple. Oh, wow. The lag is real. Stay here. Should be out of this guy's range, right? It's not. We can uh, maybe put Marsha here. The body block. What's your move? Nine? Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, he can't really body block. We can use uh, Alincia to body block, though. We can use Marsha and Alincia should be able to body block. I have to double check Marsha's move after this. I just she's pretty close though. I think she's got enough move after the fact to get into range. Well, to body block Alincia or what's it? Leanne. There we go. We're actually gonna go down here. Yeah, exactly. Because he could make it. Because the clouds are going to screw him up now. So this should work. Oh, you have eight, right? Or you have seven. You're nine. Okay, you're fine. Yeah, you got all the move to get back there and protect her. There's something oddly interesting, though, about the lag during these fights. Some of these animations typically happen so fast you don't really get to see exactly what's happening and then watching it lag like that right there, you're like, oh yeah, so that's kind of how that works. Alright, there. Uh, hold on, I didn't check this guy. Okay, we're fine. We are very fine. Let's 
put a Lindsay over here. She's actually more than capable of taking these guys out. She just can't do any damage because the Slim Sword sucks. Uh, that's fine if he can reach because they don't attack Leanne. So I'm perfectly fine with whatever that guy does. Especially when he has a 0% hit. Then I don't care what he does at all. Go ahead and attack Nelucci. The only thing you're doing is costing him gauge, which pain in the ass, but you deal with it. Crit? Or that 1% on the 83? Ow. Fine, be that way. I didn't want... I mean, he wasn't going to die anyways, but... I didn't want to beat him anyways. I wanted him to live with more HP than he could have. Oh, okay. We definitely got Marsha transfers if she got a weapon level up already. I don't know what stats they are. I don't know what her base stats are without transfers. But she definitely got uh, the weapon XP bonus transfer. Go, Nalucci! Alright. It's just the three of them, which is very easy to deal with. With uh, Leanne here. And then these three, I think, should come in the next round, which is... Do you get Har on turn three or turn four? Actually, for some reason, now that I'm actually trying to debate in my mind, for some reason I'm convinced it's turn five. I don't remember what turn he shows up. Not even sitting out there, bastard. Okay, so, 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 so. Um, I think we might be able to have Valencia kill this guy. Nope, Slim Short is just literally that bad. I okay, guess so we have Marsha. Where do we want Leanne to be? Let alone everybody else, but. Okay, 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 okay. We can do this. So, does Nelucci kill this guy? Okay, so Nelucci kills this guy. Marsha should be able to kill this guy. And... That's not so good. So, let's see here. I would like to get everybody as close to this love uh, area as they can. But I also want them to kill everything over here. How do you fare against the guys in the clouds? Perfectly fine. Exactly what I expect from you. Erg! Alright, 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 alright. How are we going to do this? Nelucci kills this guy. Um, stops here. Marsha kills this guy. One, two, three, four, five. Wait, no. We need them close enough where after they dance they can fly over here. So, if we did Nalucci here, Marsha here. One, two, three. Yeah, they got, I think that's how we do that. Oops. Alright, you take out this guy. Nice dodge, nice dodge. Alright, um... How are we gonna make Alincia get involved in this? I don't know if we can kill both these guys. Unless Marsha hits both the attacks she's about to make on the one guy. Oop, not there, not there. Right here. That's a tall order. That's a tall order, but I believe in you, Marsha. You can do it. Ouch. Okay, Lindsay does 8 damage, I believe, right? Didn't we check? Or did she eight I think she did 8 damage to the other one that we killed. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, okay, so I think... Alright, we just need Alicia to do 4 damage twice, and she should be able to hit, because she swords over axes. Right? Right? 
Okay, she did do enough damage. Now, what's the Luchi versus the other guy look like? 180 hit. He's gonna hit. 16. So he does one more damage than he does to this guy, but I don't know what he did to that guy. 27. So he does 11 damage. Twice. Does 22 damage. Brings him down to... 9 HP. Does Alincia do enough damage? Okay, we're actually going to use Alincia, I think, to kill that guy. So let's redistribute where we're going to put Alincia. Kill this guy. How much do we do? Nine moves, right? Yes. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, yeah, actually, I like this right here is actually the perfect spot. So, never mind. We're right. We're gonna be all right. This is like the one out of like maybe three or four maps in the entire game where losing the weapon triangle in super mode or maniac mode, as it's called, actually benefits the player because Marsha doesn't lose 10 hit. Alright, so Lucia stays right here. And comes over here. I don't have a good sing reference yet. I'll find one eventually. Pop you over here so that you're ready for the next turn. Nalucci comes over here. Beaks this guy. And Alincia doesn't do enough damage, I just realized. Fuck. I didn't do the math right. Yep. Fuck that up. Stunner crit. Stunner crit, you know you want it. There it is! Alincia knows. She's protecting Leanne. She knew it was important. I mean, again, they don't attack Leanne, so I wasn't worried about Leanne dying. It just means I get to have Leanne actually act on the next turn, rather than having to kill the guy who uh, rescued her, quote-unquote. Fly up here, and we're in position for the next turn. Oh, they don't come at me. Okay, well, how's Nelucci doing on his... Uh... Da -da -da -da. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, is there another hand axe? Yeah, there's another hand axe hiding over here. Oh, a couple hand axe guys. Alright. We'll have Nelucci aggro this guy. Yep. These guys can't really reach anybody else. Alright. Play it safe. We're doing an Iron Man run. Come on, guys. He's an old man. You got no accuracy on the old man? He's very spry, I guess. Yeah, and we lose Nelucci on the next turn. Please get me Har. Come on, Har. Son of a bitch. He is turn five. Well, this guy didn't come at me. That's pretty nice. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to actually have Alincia go first. Because if she procs stun or gets a crit, it'll change how I everyone else performs this turn. Come on, you know you want it. There it is. I mean, she doesn't kill, unfortunately, but... It leaves the guy pathetically weak, so... With a good dance... Well, Galder song, whatever you want to call it. 
and we can get basically right there. So we have you come over oop, here. Pick this guy off. And then Leanne sings. <coughs> I need a I need a sing reference because I usually do dance the Macarena, but we're not dancing. So we're going to sing. What are we, what are we? What is Leanne's song of choice here? All right. I'd give it to Valencia, but. Honestly, Marsh is going to make slightly, and I do mean slightly, just slightly better use of the XP. So we're going to give it to her. Boom. Um, 